Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are <coughs> at the garden house and we are working on quite a few bits. Uh, I'm working inside the house, the guys are outside working on the garden. Um, we bring in some hardcore in today. We're waiting for some more hardcore. It's supposed to be here already. Well, it hasn't been here. Cell core as usual. they be messing us up with our deliveries. But we've had two bags so far that have been delivered on Saturday. So we're bringing those in now. The guys almost finished that now. So we're supposed to have another bag coming today and two bags of sharp sand. So we're waiting for that as well. So hopefully they turn up at a reasonable time. All right, guys. So this is basically what we've been doing so far. What the guys have been doing so far. They started bringing this hardcore in here there's going to be artificial grass here we've done a clean up in here um, we're going to have a little bit there's a little bit of hardcore to go in just in the gap there and then we're going to lay uh, concrete slabs the original slabs of this going to be laid here as well when we're done we give this place a good 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 clean i did give it a quick wash down all the steps and stuff but we'll be doing a quick clean up once we're all done so we're going to spread this out in a bit and uh we're just going to have to wait for the rest of the hardcore to come and then uh, hopefully we can get this whole thing done but yeah this is basically what it's looking like we actually got to do some work in here today we've got to dig a hole here for the sewer tank we're going to have in the ground which is basically a pump that's going to pump down to this black pipe here which connected to the main sewer so it's sort of like a macerator as a vortex pump so the toilet will be connected into it and then it will basically take all the waste out into the sewer system which is connected i think underneath the house somewhere um, we didn't connect that this was all provided for us we just need to connect to that end uh, i've done the water connection there i'm going to be doing the connection on the house side as well on the stairs and then that's basically our water and waste all connected up We've got a metre hole down there for our septic tank. So we basically hit hit that level now where we need to be. Just clean out the last bit of the dirt and then the hole is ready to go.
Settling when the rain Yes, I'm gonna put a fly Baby, you give me a bit that You whip up my appetite Don't leave me in Alright guys, so we are back here on site. Again, I've got the tank now, so I've just temporarily dropped it in the hole there. Um, and I'm just gonna look at how I'm gonna sort out the fit into it. So I'll show you guys what the inside of this tank looks like. It's basically a vortex pump. You can see it in there, high power vortex pump. So it's sort of like a septic tank uh, with a pump. It's got a uh, floating air device which detects the level of, of water in there and then once it gets to a certain level the pump will kick in it flushes it all out so this pipe here this black pipe 63 mil i think it is uh is the pipe that's running into the sewer and basically it's going to be connected to that connection there uh there's our toilet connection right next to it so I'll try to keep this as close to the toilet as possible just to get you know less chance of blockages and so on so what i need to do now is i actually have to cut the hole out in this myself you have to cut it out you get a seal kit that goes with it so i just need to get my angle then mark where i'm going to cut it pull this back out cut the hole put the seal in and then connect that side connect that side and then uh it just needs the electrics connecting and so on uh, but for now we'll just test it it's on a, it's on a plug so we'll just test it make sure it's all working I'm also going to turn the water on today, so then I'll be able to test the toilet, test the shower, test all the sinks and all that stuff. Everything should be running and working. Also, the guys have been working on this as well. You saw me whack a plate that down, they're just bringing sand in here now, sharp sand. We're gonna get this all ready. And then once this is level, this is basically ready for the grass to be rolled out. And then that's the grass done, yeah? And then tomorrow we're gonna be working on the pavings. So that's gonna be done in sand and cement lay the paving stones here and around here as well the uh, water turned on now water's connected let's do our first test we need to just open the valve in the toilet and we have water Got a lot of air in there, it's a long run from the house, but um, it should start to fill up. Should fill up. Then we can test the toilet and then um, test the macerator out. Let's go get this air out. let this pull up and then I'll do my first flush and then we'll go check the uh, pump and see it should be filling up all right guys so we connected the sink waste that's all done so we can test this out now water. let the air come out it's got some air in it uh, sorry MJ had turned the water back off so he's going to turn the water back on and then we let this air parge out as well and then we can go and test the uh, the pump outside all right so water's back on now oh, there we go it's coming now so waste is good so let's go check outside there we go, so we've got water now. You can see water's coming in here. So we're just doing a test on this now, plug this in. Uh, once, once the float, which is the little red device, once that goes up to a certain height, the water raises it up and this is gonna kick in and then it's gonna pump the water out. So I'm gonna let that fill up for a bit and then we'll come back. So we're still filling up, as you can see, it takes a while to fill up there and it should fill. Uh, the float is floating now, so once that float gets up to sort of like 
I did test it manually, I think it's probably about like 45 degree angle or something. And then once it gets to that level, So we're just pouring buckets of water in here as well now just to help to speed this up because it's taking forever. So hopefully I think we'll be there soon. The float seems to be going up now. I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> it's so silent. silent. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this thing is amazingly quiet. With this flush, we didn't even know. Nice <laughs> flush, yeah, All right, well, at least we know. We know it works. It is extremely quiet. Yeah. I just saw the water level going down. I didn't even know it flushed. As you told the last one, I still put that to go down here. All right, well done then. All right, so we're doing another test. We've got a flush. We got a hose in there this time, so we fill up quickly. Because I did not notice when it flushed the first time. It does actually say the quiet check valve, so I guess that's probably what really makes it quiet.
you guys just a quick update on the progress of this build and the garden as we've seen we're doing the garden as well now so uh, yeah we've been pretty much on the garden quite a bit so but yeah we're getting there now so all the services are all connected everything's working which is which is a major thing uh, so it's just yeah just trying to finish up these last bits and then we'll be done so i hope you guys enjoyed the update and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one take care